We're going to look at solving a two-step linear inequality with a fractional coefficient. Here's our first example. 1 minus 3 sevenths u is less than negative 2. Our goal is to try and get the u term by itself. And so I'm going to start by getting rid of this 1 on the left-hand side. Since it's a positive 1, I need to subtract 1 from both sides. When I do that, I'm left with negative 3 sevenths u on the left-hand side is less than negative 2 minus 1 would be negative 3 on the right-hand side. And then my next step is to get the u by itself. I notice that I have a fraction multiplied times the u. And so to get rid of that fraction, I can multiply by its reciprocal. That means flipping the fraction upside down. So I'm going to flip negative 3 sevenths over and make it negative 7 thirds and multiply by that fraction on both sides of my inequality. Okay, I want you to notice something, and that is that I'm multiplying by a negative number on both sides. That changes the direction of our inequality. And so in my next step, I need to put greater than instead. And then let's simplify. So when I multiply the 7 times 3 would be 21. 3 times 7 would be 21. Negative times negative is a positive. So I have 21 over 21u, or just 1u. And on the right-hand side, let's make this negative 3 a negative 3 over 1. And then negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21 over 3. I can divide 21 by 3, and that would be u is greater than 7. And so that is my answer for this first example. All right, let's look at a second example. 18 minus 2v over 9 is greater than or equal to 8. Again, my goal is to get v alone, so now I want to get rid of the 18 on this side. It's a positive 18, and so I would subtract it from both sides of my inequality. When I do that, on the left-hand side, I have negative 2v over 9 is greater than or equal to, then 8 minus 18 is negative 10. Now, we can do this in two steps if you like. You can either regard this as negative 2v divided by 9, or you can regard it as negative 2 ninths v. So let's say that I want to get rid of the 9 first. I can do that. Um, multiply both sides by 9. All right, then the 9's cancel out over here, and I'm left with negative 2v is greater than or equal to negative 90. All right, now I want to get 2. Um, the negative 2 out of there. It's being multiplied by v, and so I'd like to divide both sides by the negative 2. But remember, whenever I multiply by a negative, when I'm using inequalities or divide by a negative, I have to reverse this inequality symbol. So in my next step, I'm going to write less than or equal to. And then the negative 2 divided by negative 2 cancels out, that makes a 1, and so I have 1v, or just v, is less than or equal to, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so positive 45, and so my final answer is v is less than or equal to 45.